If you're a student or a researcher, you've probably heard about a literature review before, but maybe you're not quite sure what it is or how to write one. In this video, we'll explain what a literature review is and we'll show you three essential steps to follow to write a good one. So what is a literature review? Essentially, it's a critical analysis and synthesis of the relevant literature on a particular topic. It's not just a summary of what others have said, but a way of evaluating and synthesizing the existing research in a way that highlights gaps, inconsistencies, and opportunities for future research. Why is it important to undertake a literature review? Your research is a small piece in a complicated jigsaw puzzle of knowledge, it does not stand alone. Your reader needs to know about the whole jigsaw puzzle, the bigger picture. How do you do it? Follow these three steps. Step 1. Analyze. Show a questioning and searching approach when reading. Identify what is important. Look for explanations, relationships, comparisons, predictions, generalizations, and theories. Also, identify what is not in the source text to consider any potential bias. Step 2. Summarize. Report ideas from the source material briefly. Choose what is relevant and important for your writing. Integrate ideas from the source material into what you wish to say. Step 3. Evaluate. Make judgments about the material. Identify underlying assumptions, attitudes and opinions in the source material. Evaluate arguments and assess how effectively they are supported. Identify potential gaps. Include your comment, as well as summaries of ideas from the source material. Remember, it is your evaluation. Bear in mind that your goal is not to merely summarize existing literature, but to make a case that there is a significant gap or limitation within the existing literature that needs to be addressed, that there are good reasons for believing your hypothesis is likely to be correct. As you read through the literature, it's important to take notes and organize your findings. Using a mind map, can help you organize your material under general themes, issues or questions. Take notes under focus questions rather than from each article separately. This is like first sorting the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle into piles of related pieces to simplify the job of putting the pieces together. The important thing is to keep track of what you've read and what you've learnt. Make sure you are keeping up with the latest literature and use the literature it refers to as well. Once you have all your notes, it's time to start writing. A good literature review should have a clear structure. With an introduction that explains the topic and the research question, a main body that summarizes and synthesizes the literature, and a conclusion that highlights the main findings and suggests avenues for future research. See your job as answering readers' questions rather than just collating background information. Understand the purpose of each part of what you are writing. You should be able to justify each component of what you write. Finally, it's important to cite your sources properly and to use a consistent citation style throughout your literature review. This not only gives credit to the authors whose work you're citing, but also helps readers to find the sources you're using. If you want to learn more about specific techniques that are useful for writing a literature review, go to this video next. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. See you soon.